everyone, my name is Elfa. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a wonderful day. So today we are building in a 20 by 20 lot in Winterberg, which happens to be one of my most favorite lot, lot, one of my most favorite lot ever in the game. So we're doing a industrial house today, but in a diagonal shape. If that makes any sense i know right now it's not very industrial but i did change everything to be this um brick color not brick color brick texture over here so i think it looks quite industrial enough and i'm very surprised because i haven't built anything industrial at all ever since i got the game which was a few years ago and that's ridiculous because industrial is one of my most favorite style to do in real life. I mean, I love industrial builds in real life, but I also love industrial builds that a lot of builders make. So actually, this house was inspired by an image that I found online on Pinterest, but it's not an industrial house, but I love the whole shape of it and it's just like it's basically a box like a cute box with yellow um like wall siding and white windows and doors and the roof is like grayish blue if that makes any sense but i didn't really like how the yellow wall siding in game right now so i decided not to recreate that or build something based off that image but I did change it into a more industrial house which we are building today and I tried to find that image but as usual I couldn't find it so I'm so sorry for that but I will try to save any image that I could find interesting online and maybe it would be very helpful for you to see the Real to sims build but anyway let's just talk about the build because we're now on the interior part of the build and i have no idea how hard it is to do a diagonal kitchen because the lighting is very very terrible you have no idea how dark the countertop was before i changed the um, swatch to this white-ish um, countertop because when I first placed it, it was like, it was very dark and it has this kind of harsh shadows, which is so bad. You have no idea how bad it was, but I did change that and I'm so happy with how everything turns out. And um, I put that stereo thing over there. That's basically a base game debug item. So that was patched with the sim session weeks ago. I'm not sure how many weeks from now but i think like two or three ish weeks from now so that is basically a moshino um stereo thing but they took the like smaller part off and they just put the bigger um part in base game and that is my new favorite i can assure you i love the moshino one but since it's too big i just don't really like that so this speed build is a short one because it only took me an hour and 15 minutes to finish the whole build which is ridiculously fast because normally it took me about two ish hours but this is only like an hour and 15 or 10 or 15 minutes so it's really fast and i really like how the exterior and the interior of the house everything just looks so nice and yes i still use a ton of packs on this build i'm so so sorry but i think i use dream home decorator tiny living jungle adventure city living for that break only and dine out get famous moshino perfect patio get together snow escape what else a lot of things spa day yeah i use that um black wallpaper um, from spa day and the bathroom is quite spacious because this is a diagonal house or diagonal shaped room and if you have built something using diagonal walls you know how 
um, a little more spacey they are, if that makes any sense, because everything just looks so huge and very not as cramped as I thought it would be. That's very surprising because I hate working on diagonals. They just look so terrible. They they make everything just very stretch out. I mean, the windows and um, the doors and everything just looks terrible. But surprisingly enough, this looks... Surprisingly enough, everything looks nice on this build. I'm quite surprised. And we're basically just finished with the interior we just have to put some tiny things and we'll be moving on to the exterior which is so so fast and i tried to build this um or like create this kind of side yard if that makes any sense so the the space where you could hang out with your friends with uh, maybe grill some things or just like hang out on the outdoor and I should have put a pool here I think that would be such a nice or maybe a hot tub because I use perfect patio but I didn't I'm so so sorry maybe I will do something um, with a hot tub on the outside and we have a base game hot tub from the last year anniversary like the 20th sims anniversary if I'm not mistaken and they're so beautiful but I think I've never used that like ever so I will try to build something using the hot tub but maybe I will do something using the hot tub or inspired by that hot tub please let me know if you want me to do that and this is basically just the outdoor lounge space area you will have a grill over here and some I'm not sure um, yeah the planter boxes it's not planter boxes it's actually uh some plants from actual catalog you can't do the whole gardening thing with that um planter boxes but i did change that wall decoration thingy from gate famous if i'm not mistaken to the succulents thing from dream home decorator which is so adorable i really 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 love these succulent things i really wish they put a uh, separate succulents over here so they make it into four different succulents because with the dream home decorator we only have one plant and that's the plant and i think it's such a bummer to not having that as individual plant so anyway we're just basically finishing up the sitting area over here and we'll be having another sitting area on the other side of the side yard so that's basically just a like regular bench from i'm not sure either snowy escape or i think snowy escape yeah i'm pretty sure it's from snowy snowy escape not so we escape i'm so sorry i'm so rambly right now but this is basically the house so you realize that this is not a very not a very long speed build and also i only speed it up four times normally i speed it up like five to six times but normally five times so it didn't take me that long to finish and yet i'm so happy with the results so we are now getting closer to the end of the speed build so if you want to download this build you can download this build on the gallery under my eid which is alpha Tierra, or under the hashtag plummy sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to the website gallery as well as the other link to grab the tray files from simple share if you prefer that way so yeah i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already because that will help me a lot and if you want to you could also ring the bell so you will be notified every single time i upload a new video and i also active on instagram if you want to follow me there or maybe on my twitter my instagram and twitter handles is plummy sims so 
Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this voiceover right now. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.